really hard to block. I know. It's okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Doing some flipping over here. What's going on guys? Welcome to Hoopty's Rides and Reviews. I finally rebuilt my buggy. I wrecked it in a video that I'm in the middle of editing now. I destroyed my front shock and all of my front suspension parts. You can see right here I've installed all the aluminum parts. But that's for another video and I'm waiting for a new shock because this shock is just completely destroyed. So while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing. Something a little bit different this time, something I usually don't do. Actually something I've never done before, I bought a couple of drones. Yeah, I ordered two drones from AliExpress.com. They came wrapped like this, but somehow they still got a little bit crushed in the mail, both boxes. But we're going to go ahead and pull these out, charge them out. Well, I guess if you had to brand these, you would call them HDRCs. And this one just says Fold Drone, and it's 14 plus recommended. Alright, so the reason why I've got two of these is I've ordered one for my son and one for myself so I can kind of play with him. I'm pretty sure it comes with that remote. That's what it said in the pictures that I was looking at. You can get these with cameras on them. It says HD camera here, but I didn't get the ones with cameras just because I wanted to get something really cheap. I think I paid about 16 bucks for each of these. So a little under $35. I got two drones for me and my son to just play with. Let's go ahead and open one of these up. I got the black one for myself and the red one for him. Here is the red one, yep, there. and this thing is pocket sized and it should be able to fit, fit right in your pocket, palm your hand. It's actually got a good little bit of weight to it and I ordered the one that came with two batteries. You can get up to three batteries. It comes with a charger and instructions and everything like that. This is just a USB charger and here's the remote. So what you get out of the box is some extra propellers. You get these nice little prop guards. They're a little bit springy, a little soft, so they can kind of take the impacts. They feel a little bit thin, now these things might break. It has some landing gear that's kind of uh, rubber, little stobs on the bottom of each motor. So it's nice gentle landing. I ordered the two battery kit. You can get up to three batteries with it. I have this battery already charged. Now it slides right here into the back of the drone and just clips right in there very easily. Slip that in there with one hand. And uh, it has a light when you power it on. The power switch is right there on the top. It has a light in the front instead of the uh, camera. Well, I'm not sure if the other one, the camera hangs below it or if it takes the spot of that light. But it has a little LED light. So here's the remote power button obviously right here in the middle. Now this button right here is for flipping it over and doing uh, like a fo forward front flip or a back flip. You just hit the button and push it full max to get whichever flip direction that you want. I'm not sure if it does side to side. The instructions only say something about front or backwards flipping. These buttons are functional. You can hear them. This button right here is the right trim. This button is the left trim, and this one is forward and then backwards. These four buttons over here, they're also functional, but these two are only for the camera version. The, one of them is for taking photos, one of them is for video. This one is for headless mode. I don't know if you know about headless mode. It basically uh, keeps the direction of the drone always facing the same way, so you can kind of get flowing shots or you don't get confused with your controls if you're not used to flying a drone. I'm not used to flying it but I'm going to try both ways and try to get used to it. And this button right here is actually an automatic return mode and I did try it. It worked. Uh, it kind of came down and bounced and then went back up and then kind of was trying to land it again. And uh, it tried to land in the grass so I just took right back off again. This is a throttle where you can kind of just set it and forget it. And that's really nice, but the only thing is, as far as changing the direction of the drone, is on the same stick. So if you're kind of changing the direction and everything, it kind of messes up with your throttle, and sometimes it can just go a little bit too crazy. I live right next to the woods, so when this thing went kind of crazy, it 
went straight for the trees, obviously. So a little bit of wind can also take this thing out. It is a little micro drone. So here it is in my hand with the, with the guards on it. It does look pretty small, but it's nifty and it's got a lot of power. I was very surprised. I took it outside and it was able to handle the wind. I flew it around just for about maybe 10 minutes. I think this little battery lasted. One thing I will say is that this battery pack is pretty hard to get out. I've got pretty good grippers and uh, it takes a little bit to get that thing out. I mean, I guess it's a good thing you don't want it popping out, but it is a little bit difficult to get out. I did wreck it a couple times, first time ever flying it, and you can see these plastics right here. You can see that little line that's kind of like a flex line. Might be a weak point right there. Might end up going back to my old faithful JB weld and uh, welding these things back on at some point if these things fall off. Just to keep her going until I get another drone. Now, keep in mind, I'm just going to be doing testing and flying and everything. I've never had a drone, so this isn't like going to be my main thing. This is going to be a little beater, something that I can get used to flying. And my son can get used to flying. And we can fly it together. He loves his helicopter. We just got him a helicopter for Christmas as well. So I know he's going to love this. Because this is actually... A little bit more uh, performance oriented. This thing can do a little bit more than his helicopter did or does because it doesn't fly forward or backwards quite as quick. This thing can actually maneuver a little bit better and it's much faster. Do a little pan around so you can see what I'm working with. Power lines, trees. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff for me to run into. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to wind up hitting some of this stuff. And probably gonna break mine. So how I got it to work last time was I went hit this power button, held it until the light stays on, and this little red light flashes back here until it stops flashing. Uh, last time it stopped flashing. Well that red light right there is supposed to slow down. Take this remote, hit the power button and it also flashes. Well, that thing's still going, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. All right, so I got the flash into slow down. It turns out you just gotta kind of get it flat and level and let it start to uh, calibrate itself. And then you can go ahead and uh, set it down. All right, once that thing starts flashing really slow, you can put the power on to the remote. Give it a little bit of. All right, we're in action. So this thing just took a slam from the, about 50 feet in the air and all of these little arms just folded up and I went over and popped them all back out and it still flies pretty good. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of footage of this thing flying around but overall I'm pretty happy with this thing. For about $16, $17 you really can't complain for something that you can just take outside and have fun and uh, enjoy a little bit of flight. This thing is flying about 70, 80 feet before I lose control of it. So uh, it makes it to almost 100 foot before it really is a problem. That's full throttle. It's got a little bit of pull on it. It's very light. As you can tell, I'm not very experienced with this. So that was pretty fun. It survived the first and second battery uh, of me testing it out, having never flown a drone before and wrecking it quite a few times. These things are a lifesaver. I had definitely needed to put those on, for me at least. I'm just not experienced with flying drones. I almost forgot though, it does have a performance mode where you can kind of up the speed a little bit. I know it's probably a really bad idea, but just for the video's sake, I'm going to try it out. Don't mind the background noise. My neighbor bought a really big go-kart. But anyway, um, if you hit this button up here, it goes into a, more of a high-performance mode. And you can hear a little 
two beeps there that means that's into a more high performance mode we're going to check that out and we're also going to try the flip mode i'm going to see if i can catch it on camera all right so this is a comparison to earlier yeah, screaming a little bit more it's a little bit more sensitive in this mode Alright, it is a good bit more powerful and you can steer it. You can steer it a lot easier this way. It's really hard to uh, fly it and get footage at the same time, so I'm trying to do my best. Ooh, it did a flip. Did you get that? So if you think I did an alright job for my first time flying a drone around, give me a like in the bottom, hit me up in the comments if you like, please subscribe if you don't mind, and uh, until next time, deuces, oh, I can't wait till my son comes home and we can fly these things around, both of us out here, it's going to be a good time. Alright now, take it easy. Alright guys, so I'm back out here with two freshly charged batteries. I'm going to go ahead and give this thing another shot. There was something that I'd noticed uh, off camera that I didn't even see in the instructions. I read the instructions again, and it actually says it only has uh, one other mode. It has, says it has a regular mode and then a power mode. But if you uh, go through the remote on this left shoulder button, it actually has three power settings. And I'm going to go through that now. You can listen to it. It actually beeps and lets you know which mode it's in. So that's the uh, very low setting. Uh, it doesn't fly uh, around as well. It doesn't turn as well or as sharply. I think it just is for beginners. And this kind of steps it up. It beeps twice. And the three is kind of full power. Now last time I did a little bit of um, the full throttle shooting so you can hear it, listen to it running full throttle. It doesn't sound much different but uh, these motors are very small so I'm not expecting much much difference with that extra setting but just wanted to put that in there that it does have three mode settings yeah it's much more sensitive as far as the handling on, on the third setting
Do right. That would be a perfect shot. This is horrible videoing. Really hard to find. I know. It's okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Doing some flipping over here. Oh! Almost smashed into the pavement.